what's up everybody welcome back to my youtube channel and today as you can see my z690 system is finally up and running here and today i am finally going to give my final verdict for this little board the asus rog uh, maximus uh, z690 hero so yeah i know uh, some people have uh, you know found some uh, a small little um, flaw in the factory uh, that is already has been addressed by ASUS so nothing too crazy stuff there but my board here is working really well as you can see and I've done some uh, testing on it as well and uh, yeah this board is pretty darn amazing but it st still has some stuff I, I maybe perhaps change in my own opinion so if you uh, are interested in this board i'm gonna leave my amazon affiliate link down below in the description and also asus's website link so you can quickly check out everything that this board offers uh, but yeah uh, where to begin uh, first of all i checked the price so it is a z690 board right and uh, of course z690 is a premium board and it's a premium price uh, should you should be able to buy it ar at around six hundred dollars maybe a little bit cheaper maybe a little bit uh, more expensive but around six hundred uh, bucks for this board and i mean overall if you consider that this is the brand spanking new uh, motherboard 40 alder lake cpus uh, lga 1700 right then it's not a bad choice it's not a bad choice uh, of course uh, has the option to add ddr5 memory on it as well so yeah probably being pretty impressed by it actually uh, also a small little little neat feature i found that you can actually use the uh, old uh, 1151 um, socket clamp on it because it has extra holes uh, you know next to the cpu socket so you don't really need a LGA 1700 socket, uh, CPU socket cooling uh, uh, clamp. So that's pretty neat, I guess. But anyway, yeah, uh, today I am using the Intel i9-12900 on this board here. I also hooked up some G-Skills uh, Ripjaw S5s on this thing. Uh, 5200 MHz uh, memory uh, DDR5 and yeah, that this combo is absolutely amazing it's super super fast of course it, it's kind of difficult for me to test and compare here because I don't really have that much hardware here but overall the package here works absolutely amazing and thanks to this mother thanks to Asus pretty much right the BIOS is absolutely filled with options to overclock and tweak your uh, system to the most uh, maximum speed possible, which is really, really nice to see. And um, yeah, I guess uh, first thing uh, here to mention is that this uh, board does use 20 plus one power stages, which is awesome for your Alder Lake CPU to eke out um, as much uh, performance as possible from it. And of course, I am also using a Asus's brand new Tor uh, 1000 uh, watt power supply unit, uh, their Platinum 2 power supply unit here today. And yeah, that also, I, I think I need to do a separate uh, review from that um, because yeah I have I have been searching for a power for cool looking um, really quiet power supply unit so is that it that's what we're gonna maybe try and find out in a uh, next new video anyway moving back to the motherboard I mean yeah first of all of course it has a gigantic heatsink uh, on all of these MOSFETs here as well as you can see I mean overall the board is really really nicely cooled and you can easily attach your favorite water cooling block on this uh, CPU here and don't have to worry about too much, you know, about the heat getting too, uh, too much on the MOSFETs because uh, the MOSFET uh, rats are really big here. And um, yeah, some other stuff, I mean, 
There's a ton of fan headers uh, that I found on the top of the board and some on the bottom, which is pretty nice. Uh, although I would have preferred maybe a few extra on the sides as well, but there's none. So yeah, take that into consideration. Uh, now, of course, you can see all the usual premium uh, stuff like a proper power and reset button. And also it has the Asus Flex key, which you can quickly uh, reconfigure in the BIOS to do a few other settings. Um, that would suit your need, maybe like disable the RGB effects or something like that, right? And of course, as you can see, it also has a port 80. I, I think it's port 80. Uh, that's what I ac actually read in the 90s or 2000s. Uh, but yeah, uh, a quick uh, port that quickly, you know, show you what actually is causing uh, the system to maybe not boot up. So you can, you know, quickly find out uh, what the actual cause is. Is it the CPU memory or the video card that is you know, causing your problem, which is really nice. I liked it. Um, also, there is an extra 6-pin power connector underneath the 24-pin here to give 60 watts of extra juice to the two USB-C Thunderbolt 4 boards. Pretty good stuff. Um, moving on to some other stuff here. There's a total of two PCI Express 5.0 16x slots on this board and a single PCI Express 4.0 16x uh, at the bottom of the board. Uh, I mean, perfect for that Visa Express ROG Hyper M.2 card that comes with the board, I guess. Uh, that um, enables us to add extra two M.2 devices uh, to our PC with a pretty good heatsink on top of them. And uh, now, talking about storage, right, uh, there is a total of five M.2 ports on the Maximus uh, Z690. Uh, to keep it short and sweet, I guess, um, you can get PCI Express 5.0 speeds uh, if you add your M.2 drive into the ROG Hyper M.2 1 board. Uh, but it will disable the other board. Um, kind of weird. Uh, but yeah, that's how you get PCI Express 5.0. Uh, it's just uh, if you really, you know, want the PCI Express 5.0 M.2 speeds. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's how you get it. Uh, the other M.2 boards are mostly PCI Express 4.0, with one of them being a 3.0. So for storage, this board is a pretty decent option out there um, in the premium uh, lineup, right? Uh, now, it doesn't have the DIMM.2 uh, port that ASUS usually adds next to the memory slots here, but the PCI Express card, the Hyper M.2 card, is pretty neat, and it also provides you PCI Express 5.0 speeds to your M.2 drive, which is awesome. Although it disables the other uh, socket, so yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, moving on to something that caught my eye when I actually powered this thing on. Uh, the ROG Polymo lighting here, and it resides on the back I.O. Uh, it is something that reminds me of uh, ASUS's own anime matrix displays on their peripherals, uh, but this one here is colored. Uh, it is actually pretty neat and you can uh, customize it a little bit in the ASUS's Armory Great software, uh, but uh, yeah, you can't actually type new stuff there or something like that. It's Pretty much, it's, it is what it is, right? You can just, you know, uh, neatly... I guess it's... Uh, I guess the logo is always on there, but it's, uh, you know, each each of the LEDs are um, individually addressed uh, by the ASUS software, and that's how it, you know, adds text on top of it some, uh, at, at times, right? So it's not like the anime matrix display that ASUS is using on their barrels, but kind of similar. Uh, but it's not just a flat image of an RGB color or something like that that can't be changed that would only, you know, wave in different colors. This is a little bit different. I mean, it's neat. Nothing too special, but it's neat. But moving on from the RGB effect here, as you can see, actually, it doesn't really have any other RGB effects. So. Yeah, I would have maybe loved to see an RGB strip uh, underneath the board, uh, all underneath the board, right? So when you actually install the motherboard, your entire system would glow up, uh, which uh, would be pretty interesting, but it's not, not the case here. Uh, the most unique and so far, I mean, uh, the best actual use case invention to come from ASUS in recent time has to be their 
Q release slot uh, for the main PC Express slot. You see, over are the times of blindly sending your trusty screwdriver into the motherboard to open a notch that keeps your video card closed. Asus is now using this simple button uh, that has a string attached uh, to the hook, uh, to the PC Express hook or hinge. So when you push it, it will immediately release the video card from the socket. A super helpful thing to have if you, you know, have ever dismantled PCs. Uh, the only sad part is that it is only available for the main PC Express 5.0 slot. So every other port on the board uh, still doesn't have this feature, which is kind of odd. Come on, every port should have this, especially when it's a premium board, right? I get it if it's a cheaper board, yeah, just one slot is fine. But if it's premium, every slot needs, needs to have it. Now, uh, talking a little bit more about some notches and uh, quick latches, uh, I think I just named it a Q latch uh, for the M.2 drives, which is really nice. So when we actually unscrew the heat sinks uh, from the motherboard to reveal the M.2 uh, sockets underneath, both of them which have uh, top and bottom uh, heat pads, or, you know, which is really nice. Uh, thermal pads, I mean. And uh, yeah, as you can see, you can quickly, neatly install your M.2 drive and don't need any screws to uh, uh, you know, unscrew the screw from the M.2 socket, then install the M.2 and then re-screw it, right? Nope, just a quick little notch that keeps it uh, really neatly locked in place. Really awesome. Although I still need screwdrivers to actually <laughs> unhook the, you know, the uh, heatsink from the M.2 uh, uh, socket. But yeah, that, I, I'm fine with that. So, but anyway, really nice addition here. Now, coming to the I.O. Uh, as always, Asus says uh, premium boards have a ton of boards here. And um, yeah, we find a total of seven USB 3.2 Gen 2 boards and a single USB Type-C as well. Now, there's uh, also some USB 2.0 boards and two USB-C Thunderbolt 4 powered boards uh, that, as I mentioned earlier, can power up to 60 watts through uh, those ports if you hook the 6-pin PCI Express cable uh, on the motherboard. Uh, in other things, uh, we find the BIOS flashback, uh, clear ZMOS, uh, a single HDMI, 2.5 gigabit Ethernet, and even uh, the Wi-Fi 6E antenna boards. Uh, lastly, we find all the audio boards for the Supreme FX Audio uh, that is using the ALC4082 um, sound card in it for those who want to know. And um, yeah, that about covers the I.O. portion. Uh, some other neat stuff that only Asus is bringing on the table when buying their motherboards is of course their absolutely brilliant software. Uh, now, the BIOS, as I already already uh, told you guys, is absolutely amazing. So filled with features. Yeah, you're definitely gonna have a fun time overclocking your Alder Lake CPU on this board. Uh, definitely a ton of features, nothing uh, left out pretty much. Uh, the other thing is, their, yeah, their Windows software, right? Armory grade software, really nice. Uh, just um, download the Armory grade software, automatically installs all the drivers you need. You don't need to go on the web page, search for some drivers, right? So I really love the software of that. But also, Asus brings uh, on the table Asus's AI Su3, which is their overclocking uh, um, application or program, right? Which, uh, yeah, as stated, uh, AI uh, runs the business here. <laughs> so AI automatically detects your cooling system, how well your CPU is cooled, and then automatically starts overclocking, uh, you know, as, as aggressive as you want. And you can get the most, almost maximum performance, right? Of course, manually doing everything is yourself is always better, but the AI system here is super smart and uh, you don't, just don't bother with, uh, just don't bother manually overclocking pretty much, right? Uh, hit, uh, you know, open Asus's AI Su3 and do some AI overclocking there and enjoy a faster PC without the, you know, you know, draining off sweat from your forehead and thinking, should I put the gas to 33 or 32 or 31? Let's put gas, RAM gas to 31. Enter, black screen. 
Damn it! <laughs> so uh, you don't need to has hassle with that. You save so much uh, time, right? Uh, so that's a neat feature. But also a unique feature uh, is um, Asus's AI um, AI noise cancellation software, which is uh, in their uh, motherboards, which was previously only on their AMD motherboards, but now is also on the Intel versions. So, I mean, overall, this board is pretty freaking amazing. Um, there's really hard to find anything really anything to say bad about it uh, so my final verdict uh, for the asus rog maximus z690 hero is a decent 9 out of 10 and um, yeah i mean it could have had you know uh, board wide rgb effects right underneath the board so when you actually install the motherboard in your case your entire case would light up but it only only has that uh, small back io RGB effects, which I mean is neat, but uh, nothing to be crazy. But uh, then again, some people don't care about RGB at all, right? But it's also neat to have the option to turn it on. You can always turn things off, right? But I can't turn it on <laughs> right now. There's no RGB there. And uh, I mean, price is pretty premium, but I guess that's uh, the same deal with uh, most ports, uh, Z690 ports. And it also has Wi-Fi 6E support, which is really nice. You can't, you can't um, go without mentioning that, right? And also the M.2 uh, PCI Express card that can power one PCI Express 5.0 M.2 drive, which is absolutely amazing. So yeah. That's that, 9.9, 9, 9, yeah, it's gonna be a 9, <laughs> I'm gonna leave it at 9. I was wondering, maybe maybe I should give it a 9.5, no, 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 9 is fine. So anyway, that's gonna be it for my quick little review here. Hope you guys enjoyed it, if I left something out, uh, leave, them, uh, leave it down below in the comment section, I'll try to answer them. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, hit that like button if you liked the video and maybe subscribe. Anyway, see you guys later, ciao for now.